Hi, this is Will Wild, and uh, in this video I'm going to be talking to you about breath control um, and the proper way to breathe when playing the harmonica. Um, so, as you just heard, I held a note there for about 30, 35 seconds. Um, I'm not really out of breath now talking to you. Um, and that was quite a loud note as well. Um, so, you know, it, it often sounds like I'm playing really hard because um, I'm quite an aggressive quite an aggressive player you know I'm, I'm quite loud um, people assume that I must be pushing loads of air through the harp um, but actually I'm not um, the, the volume all comes from resonance that I've built up over time um, rather than from, you know, using lots of air. In fact, if you use too much air, um, you, you'll actually get a, a quieter sound, um, or the reeds could even could even choke, uh, and you get no sound at all. Um, so let's talk about the, the proper way to, to breathe when you're playing harmonica. Um, <clears throat> if you've ever had any kind of singing coaching as well, then um, it's, it's quite similar to that. Um, so we want to make sure that you're breathing from the diaphragm, um, and that may sound like a strange thing to say because obviously all breathing is, is really from the diaphragm. That's you know, how the whole mechanism works. But uh, what I mean by that is make sure that this area here is relaxed so that you're pulling the air in from the muscles down here rather than trying to suck the air in. Um, you know, using your mouth and the muscles in your throat and neck. Uh, this is why, you know, why we call it a draw note rather than a suck note. If you suck the air in through the harmonica, um, you'll get that horrible, like, pinched sound, uh, not very nice tone, and the note will probably play out of tune. I'm over-exaggerating there, obviously, but... So um, if you look in the mirror when you play a draw note, um, I'm going to be focusing on draw notes in this particular video, by the way. Um, just check these this area here. Make sure that you're not seeing <coughs> these muscles or tendons or whatever they are coming up. Um, this should stay relaxed and, and open. <laughs> So if you put your hand on your um, on your stomach muscles here, when you breathe in, this should come out. And when you breathe out, that should go in. All right. Um, so just make sure that this is staying relaxed. You're not squeezing the sound off here. Um, also, your mouth should remain open inside, not your cheeks shouldn't go in. Um, well, they're going to go in a little bit when you pucker, but try and keep a nice open space inside inside your mouth for the sound to resonate in. Um, you can think of your body as being like you know like the sound hole on, a, on an acoustic guitar. Um, that's where the sound resonates. Um, so the bigger, the more open you can make all of these resonating chambers, the more tone and the more volume you're going to get okay uh, so try and feel the sound resonating throughout your head and throughout your chest as you're playing um, this is an A harp I'm using by the way <clears throat> so a good thing to practice um, is just holding notes for a, a long time like I did at the beginning of this video um, let's try to draw six um, the higher notes take slightly less air anyway um, so <clears throat> what, what I'd like to practice is to first of all exhale all the air from my lungs <sighs> so when you've done that your <clears throat> stomach should be <sighs> all the way in right and then when we play the draw note um, your stomach is gradually going to come out okay so you're breathing deep, alright, down to P 
Picture the air going down to where your lower abs are. And when this is filled up, then imagine the chest starting to fill up and the ribs starting to expand. But only after it's filled up from down here. A lot of people sort of fill their chest up straight away and then they've got nowhere else to go. <clears throat> so keep this all relaxed, breathe deep. Okay, so here we go. So exhale and then draw six. And um, you can time this um, and try and you know try and improve it. Um, <clears throat> when I was doing this regularly, I managed to get up to about 50 seconds on on a draw note. Um, I haven't been practicing this as much recently, so um, I'm, I'm down to about 40 seconds at the moment. Um, but you know, if you can hold a note for this long, um, not only does it improve your resonance and your overall tone and volume. Uh, but, you know, there's never going to be a time in a song where you need to hold a note for 40 seconds. So um, if you've got licks where there's loads of draw notes in a row, something like that, <laughs> then, um, you know, you're not going to run out of air because you're used to to breathing in for longer than, than you'll ever need to in a, in a song. Uh, so I think it's a really good thing to practice. Um, give it a go, let me know how you get on. Um, please like, comment and subscribe below and I'll be back with another video soon. Cheers. <laughs>